Okay, so um, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, that was terrible, but um, I had to give it a shot. So I'm gonna write it out. If it's if it's still not working, I'm just gonna let it ride. So I can't tell if it's. Um, I don't know how to fix it, basically. <laughs> so YouTube gives me like a notification if the stream is not working. And not only did it tell me that it wasn't working uh, very well, it also, the screen that it shows me of the stream as it's happening uh, was freezing too. So yeah, so hopefully it works. So thanks guys for coming back over. I probably lost about 80% of you. 20 minutes left of my break. <laughs> nice. Uh, so Siraj, what's up? Kumar, uh, Stard's back here. Jonathan, Amanda. Uh, all right, guys. So let's uh, keep going on this one and see what we can do. Ah, chaos. So I'm using the Ritmo B. And also, I'm going to use uh, the Conte Al Paris, the 1710 3 B. Sorry, reminded me of Austin Powers, haha. Yeah, right. Yeah, still doing. The, it's telling me the same stuff. So um, I don't know. I'll just let it go and not think about it. <laughs> Try not to. I'm going to click it off so I don't right. even have to see it. It looks crisp and clear to me now. Okay. It's good now. It'll don't yeah. And, Trust me, in like 30 seconds, it'll probably get all choppy or something. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, my cameras are working. That's great. At least those so didn't possible. crash. Um, let's go into the uh, the block end of the, the values. Uh, shoot, because I shut everything down, now I, got, I have to grab my reference again real quick for my side. So let me pull that one up and put it on the TV screen across the room. So I have something to look at, some sort of reference. Remember I was gonna sell this one on eBay uh, if I liked the drawing that I did on the stream and then uh, I realized about the copyright so I can't sell it. But if I mess up on the likeness, like can't I sell it then if it doesn't look like the person? Like what if I purposely changed how they look and then I could probably sell it, right? At least with the dress part, because I'm making it black instead of like the flowers, the purple flowers. Is that enough to get away from uh, getting sued <laughs> or a, a cease and desist letter of from some lawyer? <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about that. Um, so anyway, this is a three B instead of the normal seventeen ten B. So it's a lot softer. And let me try this other one. That one feels pretty hard, actually. Oh, it's a, okay. So it acts different on the, because um, we used smooth newsprint last time. Okay, back to the Ritmo. So this block is, wow, this goes really dark really fast. That's nice. So this is really hard to do in that it's scary as hell. Um, it's terrifying, actually. Not for the model. That'd be awesome. Cause I wanted to sell this on eBay and uh, show the auction going uh, live as I do a stream. I thought that would be really fun. The thing about this pencil though, cause it's, it feels like a vine charcoal and it, it's so soft that it melts down. Like it's already going down to the, the shaft of the wood. So I'll have to resharpen it already. It's like, I don't like that. See, now I can't even use it. It's like, it's about to hit the wood. There it is. Now it's over. See? Good day, mate. To get our drawing study on. Oh, I just broke that one. <laughs> I just broke a pencil. So that Ritmo is so fragile. I might have to pull out the uh, the vine charcoal instead of using this one. All right. Man, today is just a bunch of chaos, huh? So we're gonna fill in everything that's in shadow or dark in value, and try not to cry. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to have a panic attack. And I'm, I'm halfway kidding, because <laughs> this is. So right now it looks like just a bunch of scribbles, 
and we just blew through all that hair that I designed earlier. But the idea is like I, I drew it once, I can draw it again. I have the design in my head now since I worked it out. Um, uh, you can use the blending stump or you can use your fingers. Let's see. I think I prefer the, um, the finger technique because I can control it a little bit better. Yeah, I like the finger blending, kind of finger painting. And looking at the uh, the values on the, the chest, it's a little bit brighter down here, so I can pull value into the top portion, definitely into the neck. Somebody, I think somebody mentioned the egg effect, and that's what I'm thinking as well, is the, the light's coming down from the top, so this will be really bright, this uh, white, this light area and this would be like a little bit uh, more value in this area more value and even more value as we get into the neck so this style of painterly drawing as it's called you know a lot of circles it takes a lot of guts <laughs> it takes a lot of um, Oh yeah, thanks. That would actually help a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a lot better. So I noticed like uh, the the smooth newsprint, it doesn't. Kinda looks like a paster. It um it works a little bit better, I think. At least I feel more comfortable with the smooth newsprint as far as like smearing the background and stuff. The the chamois takes up that, that dark really fast. You can see how it just picks it up and moves it around. So we are now deep in the woods in the terror. <laughs> Should we buy the material first or develop the skills first? Um I like the uh, working. I, the could be and smooth. I like the uh, working with uh, cheap material as possible, especially when you're first starting. Um, that's why I use uh, smooth newsprint a lot because it's it's really cheap, and it's it's actually a good surface to uh, practice on. Um, trying to get like the overall shape of my. Because then I can come in here and we can pull out these kind of highlights and stuff later. What kind of paper would you recommend for graphite pencils? Uh, this one actually works really well. The uh, Strathmore 400 works really good for graphite as well as charcoal. And I'm going to reestablish some of these uh, uh, form shadows, these core shadows. And they're generally a little bit darker in value than the, the actual cast shadow. So you have this really sharp edge on this cast shadow. And then we're just going to start reestablishing uh, those edges. Look like Black Widow Scarlet now, haha. -ha. And this is pretty dark right up into the zygomatic. You can see I'm working fast because I, I don't want to really, uh, I don't know. Do you like graphite or charcoal better? I'm trying not to uh, lose my mind basically. So I'm trying to like get something uh, that looks a, a little bit better and more controlled as soon as possible before my uh, mental state <laughs> kind of deteriorates <laughs> because it's so hard to do this kind of stage start to, a lot of fear starts to come in. Um, yeah, the smooth. Where's your I love that, I love the, uh, the auto chat reader. It's like my favorite thing this year. <laughs> 
I wish I did that a long time ago. So I'm also thinking about, so like this cast shadow, it's gonna be darker right up against underneath the chin. And as it moves out and across the surface of the neck, it's gonna get a little bit lighter because the reflective light coming in, it's gonna fill in those shadows. So that's what I'm thinking of as well. And this is uh, this way of drawing is very painterly, and basically it's uh, I talk about it uh, quite often. And it's um, I call it push and pull. So you like you push in a bunch of value into an area like an edge, and then you pull it back out. So uh, I'll I'll use my pencil, push all that value in, and I'll use my kneaded eraser and kind of brush some of it out. So it's like a it's a push and pull process. Especially on the edges. With the, most when uh, Keep going. the mental state. <laughs> That's what I struggle with the most is controlling my 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 mind, <laughs> controlling my uh, emotions. Um, it's it's a it's a total head trip, especially when you're drawing drawing live, like on uh, in front of uh, doing demonstrations. That's why I, partly like I really like it because it's. It's so challenging and like right like a lot of times like during this period of the drawing especially if it's live I'll start have all this self-doubt I'm like who do you think you are what are you doing why are you doing this in front of everybody like um, you're gonna make you're gonna create a disaster everybody's gonna laugh at you blah 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 like all those horrible negative thoughts uh, generally start to come in right about now. <laughs> so right at right about now is where I start to start to question myself on um, everything. So so I just got to power through it. You just got to keep going. And uh, if it if I do if I do uh, destroy a drawing, you know it's not the end of the world. I'll be on another stream. I'll be back. Um, not the biggest, not the biggest uh, problem that we're having in the world today. Oh, yeah, I totally do that with the lips. I always blow out the lips a little too big. Let's see, a little bit darker. See, I'm gonna have to pull out my vine charcoal because this pencil is. Now the stream runs commercials every five minutes. Not a great stream day for you, Brad. <laughs> I keep getting a commercial every five minutes or so. Are you serious? That's weird. Did I hit a wrong setting? Let me, let me see. Every five minutes there's a commercial? I didn't I didn't know I was running commercials. Here, I'll tell you what, I'll turn off the uh maybe this will work. I'll turn off this monetization. All right, let's try that. Hopefully that works. Um, while that's trying to set up, I'm gonna run over. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna run over to the other side of the room and grab my vine charcoal. Let's see. I thought I had it already set. Probably up. monetization, but on premium there are no commercials. Hearing you talk about your struggles with art makes me feel normal while I'm having my panicky moments in drawing. Ah, here it is. Oh yeah, it's totally normal. Everybody goes Super. through it. Like everybody, even the most mastered, even the most mastered uh, artist freaks out. <laughs> you may not see it, but they do. <laughs> and when you talk to them after, after the fact, or, at one time I saw Jeff Watts and it, um, he was giving a demonstration. Uh, he did a demo, you know. And before before class, and um, hopefully he doesn't mind me saying talking about it. But uh, and then we kind of made eye contact afterwards. Like he had. How do you deal with the irritation <clears throat> that occurs sometimes during the process? He like he like he was done with the demo and he walked off and he was like this. He was like, <sighs> like <laughs> in the back of the room, and, uh, and we made eye contact and he kind of like winked at me and I was like, okay, I get it. Yeah, everybody has. I usually take more than two hours just to get the line structure done. You are a great man. Oh, thanks. 
so yeah it was like it was like an eye-opening moment for me like this this artist that I looked up to, I look up to so like I, I in my head I have him built up as like somebody that is like impermeable to like stress or anxiety <laughs> or self-doubt and then uh, I saw him in a, a very clear moment of just like trying to like chill out after um, a white knuckle drawing you know so it was very insightful and I really feel like everybody has the same same uh, feelings that's why that's why people don't usually do demos <laughs> at art schools that's why it's really hard to find like if you find if you find if you find a uh, art school and they do demos, the teachers do a demo at every class, right before class, go to that school because that is that is a good place. Now this fine charcoal is pretty... Thanks for making this videos. I really have improved my drawers. Love for Mexico. Nice, thanks. I love that. I love that. Um, okay, this one's good. It's like the vine charcoal, you can buy them in like a huge pack and they come in like um, like all these, uh, they come in these little bags. And they'll be labeled like soft, medium, and hard, but they still vary greatly depending on the stick itself. So you Richard, can... the first have the same problem sometimes usually takes me a bit to get my structure done. Does that get better the more you do it, Brad? Yes, definitely. That's why um, for studying, we do like 20 minute head uh, lay-ins where we're just doing the construction part of the head and then we move on to another one right away so you're you're practicing over and over and over and over again just building the structure of the head and then when you do like a full-on portrait you're much much faster <laughs> what was that <laughs> W. I was like, oh no, somebody's like promoting their site, and then it turned out it was a a, a nice compliment. So thank you. <laughs> so I'm going fast, huh? I'm like trying to blast through this really quick. Should also look for like shadow shapes. Uh, let's move this Hello. into the background. Hello. Looks like my future wife, haha. Oh yeah. Good job. Good job in the future. Let's see. Have you ever been completely satisfied, happy with any of your drawings? Um, so which one? Yeah, there's a few that um, I was really, really happy about. Uh, there's one, I actually sold it too, and uh, Letitia Collins, I think she has, I don't know if she's in the stream or not, um, I probably, I think she was in the, she was a couple of days ago, but anyway, she bought um, this one drawing I did that it was, when I drew it, it was, I was in the fl that flow state they always talk about, and rarely happens to like that extent, but um, I really like that one, it really just came out so there's so much. <laughs> yeah, I am. I should probably slow down a little bit now. This is sort of like uh, this is almost like uh, oil painting when you're trying to get uh, paint on the canvas, so you have something to work with. Uh, it kind of correlates with the charcoal here. Like I'm trying to get the value of the charcoal down on the paper, so I can have something to work with on the edges you know so I can pull out stuff so I'm I'm pushing up against the like the edge over here and overlapping it I see your sorts is as big as mine now let's see if you can use it ha ha <laughs> that's a classic movie that movie deserves to be watched like once a year at least I wonder if Jan has seen that movie I don't know if she's seen it I'll have to ask her Got to keep keep her up to date on the uh, classics. Let's see. Let's come over here. Hola. Just came 
Hello. Is the stream? Go okay, I'm not going to ask if the stream. Yeah, I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to keep going. So, oh, that's nice. See, so like I had a clean spot on my thumb and it pulled out that value so nicely. So it's a lot of finger painting. So that worked out really well. I like that. And then, of course, I'm going to blow it out and <laughs> destroy that. And uh, Where's the darker? So I have a sergeant's. Um, this little piece right here is the sergeant's charcoal stick. It's super soft and very, very, very black. It goes really black fast. So, like, see that line right there? It's just so, so um, dark. So maybe I can work a little bit of... Um, that texture and yeah this um this one is vine charcoal and uh i was <laughs> yeah that was funny you can't do that movie today people get too sensitive um so this is the ritmo b which feels just like the vine charcoal but it's in a pencil it's in a uh, a wooden uh a shaft but that it it melts down too fast and then you have to resharpen it. So it's like, why not just use the uh, vine charcoal? But I do like to use the Ritmo for like the initial lay-in because I have more control, I feel like. So I don't know, it's kind of a, just depends on how you're using it, I guess. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch this up a little bit and hit the darker darks with this really dark charcoal that seems to stick to the uh, paper quite a bit more too. So maybe over here in the cast shadow, right up underneath the chin. Whoa, did you hear my stomach? Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten breakfast yet today and just growled like crazy. Um, so let's keep working. Oh, and, geez, um, a let's keep over here. Let's work on this a little bit. And to the shoulder. Um, this is like white knuckle drawing right now. Hyper, hyper. Hi. I'm like right in the middle of it. Jana's in the house. Say hi, everyone. How you doing? Um, unfortunately, there is many Brazilian artists. I am trying to get charcoal to the next point, so I'll move on to oil painting. It is a lonely job. How's work going, babe? Have to go. Break's over. Finish up your video letter. Huh? Take care, Brad. Huh? Hey, guys. What's the name of your video pencil? <laughs> I am from India. I'm like dying. The uh, the stream like died earlier, or I had to kill it, I should say. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. We have to like reset it maybe and see if I'll call uh, AT and T again. And try to figure out what's going on. Yeah. I think so. I don't know. See, the YouTube tells me that it's not. But um, so far, nobody's like complained about it, so we'll see. I don't know. Love you too. <laughs> she says, uh, Ko is asleep. Um, look, I got, I got so much, I got so much in my hand here. Maybe I should start using the chamois again, huh? Let's see. Let's come over here. It's a little too. Oh, that's well, nice. That voice sounds so slow, like she's stoned. Ha ha. <laughs> so I can come in here, and this it pulls that value out pretty nicely. I like that. So I'll be using the chamois quite a bit, I think, to control the um, the value. Maybe we can finish early today for you to grab some food. <laughs> yeah, I'm starving. My my stomach could totally, totally yelled at me just now. I was like, Burr. I'm sure you guys heard it. <laughs> that was so loud. I hate when the stomach rumbles and you're like like at church, like when I was a kid or something. Or in class and everybody can hear your stomach. I don't know why is that embarrassing. It's just that you're hungry. But it, 
Or sometimes your stomach growls, but it sounds like a fart. <laughs> it's like, like deep inside your guts. That's so embarrassing. Let's see. So lots of value up here, but remember, I'm gonna come in here with the kneaded eraser and kind of pull those shapes out. I'm gonna do a little spot just to make myself feel better. Remember I talk about like when you start to feel a little anxious about how things are going on the drawing and you're getting kind of lost um, in the values anyway, to pick a little area and kind of like look for some um, place in my stomach. <laughs> you, you look for some place that you can, uh, what do you call it, have a little bit of a um, uh, success in. Like someplace, a uh, little bit of a triumph that you can you can use. Your stomach said, BBR, right, ha, ha. Did you hear it? Did you can you, can you guys hear my hey, stomach? Hi, 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 friend. Like I usually skip breakfast uh, before the stream. I take I eat breakfast after the stream, but for some reason it's really growling today. It's just everything's like happening all at once Don't today. You're perfect, Brad. The process looks like a magic card. I've been practicing this, but not as perfect as you do. Encourage me, Brad. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, there's so much uh, mental stuff that goes on with um, making art. It's... Accidents sometimes make it better. This is one example, I think. Let's see. So this ear, see how much value is in it? And there's so much I can do to it when we get over to that area. So like um, right underneath this cast shadow, if we pull out a little bit of value and make that edge a little bit more crisp. Well, it just rumbles in the middle of class, randomly tears of joy. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. So this is the kind of, you, we're using what's called the pick out kind of method. Let's see. Oh, I also hate that too. Like when, like right now, I can feel the stomach almost about to growl. Can you hear it? Oh my God, it's so loud. <laughs> like I can feel the pressure and then the shift and it's like bubbling. Oh my gosh. I you sure you- have a snack before stream for your stomach. I should. I think next time I'm gonna eat, eat like some uh, mixed nuts or something before I go on. Usually I drink like three cups of coffee. Okay, five before I go on. Um, yeah, I should probably get some protein in my stomach. It's just, it's not like I'm in pain or anything. It's just annoying to hear the stomach growling. Like a pigeon sounds early days. Yeah. Oh, you remember that? Do, does anybody remember the old, old days in my old videos? Sorry, I'm making puns today. <laughs> I like puns. That's good. Uh, the old days, the like the first videos I used to make, there was a, you always hear a train flying by in the background. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay, where am I? I'm, I'm going to look at my reference down here and make sure I don't go too dark too fast because that's usually what happens in... That's usually the... Um, what happens if you're not paying attention, or at least for me, is I'll go all the way dark, too dark, and then I basically paint myself into a corner, so to speak, where I, I have to... Um, Andrew Lumiere's method is very basic, though. Lol, go get a snack and eat 100 while you draw. <laughs> yeah, right? That's like advanced techniques. Put value on the face. OMG, got your word. That would be... Uh, advanced techniques right there have a sandwich like right here and just nom, 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 while I'm like drawing better have something don't hit the breakfast that face is just getting hit W light like it's bright today GCC yeah I'm or building a coffee yeah that might be why it's doing that haha -ha. can you guys still hear it it's like it won't stop it's pissed off <laughs> So we'll get into the funny. we'll get into the values in the face uh, once we get the uh, kind of like the background built up around it. So that's really too dark for me, but it's a 
I needed some more value in that area. So let me grab the chamois, dirty spot on the chamois. Yeah, early time move to here. Don't freak out, guys. This is scary, but it's okay. And now I can use my semi-clean finger and eraser. Let's go back to the chamois. Wow, look at that, that's a, that's a nice rumble. I really kind of blend that in. Sometimes when I draw, I feel that something is wrong, but I DK what? Yeah, have you ever tried doing that, uh, looking at it in the mirror thing, that sometimes that helps. Uh, let's see, where do I want this the brightest point on the forehead? That's good. We are always with you, Brad. Always. Hello. Hello. Good, Please I need tell me the name of your pencil. I can't hear it, but I feel you. <laughs> I'm glad you can't hear it. Now I feel better. It's always embarrassing. It's like when you're trying to do a job interview and your stomach is going crazy. Did you admire when you first started drawing? Oh, hmm. The background and trees, evergreen tree. That's a good question. I'm trying to think of the earliest. There was an art book my mom had, and she just picked. It was like by uh, what was it called? Walter. His portrait. Remember Pankov portrait. I don't know if he the same technique, but remember his portrait. Visit his Instagram. Brad, you will love his art. I'm trying to remember the guy's name, Walter Foster's art books. I think that's what it, I think it was a um, a series of art books, and there was one on birds and animals and and cats and dogs. And I was little. I was probably like I don't know, eight years old, maybe ten. That was the art book. Hi, what's he doing? Ha ha! Just kidding. You got this, B Brad. That was my favorite art book, and I remember. The first time I tried to draw from it was a uh, little uh, sparrow, and it was like a graphite, and I drew it really small. I wish I still had it. I wonder if my mom does, but um, yeah, I remember that one. That was like one of the first like realistic, like first times I tried to do like a real professional-looking drawing. Yeah, I feel like I'm drowning. <laughs> that's a good that's a good way to put it. I just swam too far out from the beach and my feet can't touch the sand underneath me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no. I have to stay afloat or I'm going to drown. And the tide hopefully the tide won't pull me out. Hopefully it's uh hopefully the tide is going in the right direction. So this is where this is where your planes of the face and anatomy comes in come in uh, really handy, understanding how the light hits in certain areas like right here, under on the side of the nose. I can even use my uh, pen eraser at this point to pick out more control like around the nose. Like if I wanted to, I can come in here and just sort of chisel it out. But I'm going to continue to sort of just. Just take my time. What I really want is like a really soft, really soft um, and uh, edges, kind of like um, Jeff Watts calls it, like controlled chaos. Hi. So you have to get to controlled chaos. You first have to put down the chaos, right, and then try to bring it back. So that's what I'm trying to do. Hello. How you doing? Narayana. That's a cool name. Nara, 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 Narayana. I like that. That's cool. I never heard that name before. Welcome. And there's a nice highlight right here on the chin. I can 
probably try to brush it like almost like a paintbrush too. My chat reader voice is taking a long time. Today I think you might have to give me a five minute warning before the stream ends so I can do the God save the queen thing or any long live the queen. Ha ha. <laughs> okay, you got it. You'll get, you got it. I'll try to remember. What time is it anyway? Okay. Let me check my camera. The camera looks good. It doesn't look like the battery is going to die yet, so that's good. So I'm probably going to go a little bit extra long on this one because I want to try to finish it today, but I don't know. We'll see. This is this process is taking a little bit longer than I thought. Um, how long? I think I did this one in two sessions, or was it three? I don't remember. I, th I was thinking it was two, but maybe. Hi. In quicksand. But I think with this paper, this paper is like it's holding on to the uh, the charcoal a lot stronger. So I'm having to work a little bit harder and uh, trying to figure out um, how it's um, acting with the charcoal. Because with the smooth newsprint... I have a question. Like, how do you draw this well? And WHT, according to you, is the best outline method, grid, or Luma's method? Wow. Uh, let's see. How do you draw this well and what, according... What's the best outline grid? Um, I like the Luma's the most. Um, I, that's the one I trained in the most. Loomis and also uh, um, Riley. I, lo I love the Riley method. Those two together is pretty much the, the, the basics that I've learned. And I love the Riley method and the Loomis. They work really well together. Um, thing with the Loomis though, I always talk about like, I always have like a caveat to the, uh, the Loomis method and that is... Why does Snoop Dogg carry a pen eraser? The chisel. Uh, <laughs> uh, so the uh, the cav caveat with the Illumis is to uh, make sure you deviate from the the formulaic kind of way uh, that the Illumis is presented in the book uh, and when you're drawing from life so that you can actually get the person's likeness versus um, what will look like a kind of like a generic head otherwise. So like the thirds of the face, you want to make sure that you measure those out and compare them to each other when you're uh, drawing from from the model. Hello. Yeah, this is uh, this feels like sculpting almost because I'm trying to look for those plane changes, and uh, and just really kind of picking it out. I feel like I'm almost digging into a digging into and pulling away the chark the um, the uh, the clay. Uh, if this boy. was a uh, if this was an actual. Uh, Sculpture. Um, let's go into the nose a little bit and get away from the, the transitions. Uh, I'm going to use this vine charcoal. It's pretty sharp. Uh, oh, I probably need a uh, the mall stick, aka flute. Let's see from Eric the flute maker. He's on YouTube. Check him out. He's super awesome. He makes really good flutes. And again, uh, don't tell him I'm using this as a mall stick. He'll probably tell a dark humor joke. Uh, he'll probably kick my butt. Um, I don't know. I like I like dark jokes. Um, sure, go ahead. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Don't get blocked. <laughs> YouTube is pretty crazy nowadays with the uh, censorship. So go for it. Let's see what's up. probably regret saying that telling you to go ahead and, and see so I'm going to look for um, the occlusion shadows occlusion shadows those are the shadows that are the darkest and uh, reflective light typically doesn't oh, looks like a of work, Brad. typically doesn't get into so like the corners here and there'll be like a little bit of a cast shadow or a, along the board this border is the second session today for this drawing I love it though <laughs> yeah the um, the first one today died. Am I am I going too far forward? Let's see. I'm trying to keep. Actually, let me let me switch hats. Let's see. Let's get the real drawing hat on. There we go. That's that's. This is where the magic happens with this hat. This is um. Uh, it's been uh, charmed by by some local witches. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Let's see, let's bring this bone structure down of the nose. Uh, what are, oh yeah, okay. This 
the outline of the nose. That's what I was going to do. This is my lucky hat. That's probably why I was having problems today with the stream because I wasn't wearing this hat. And then the nostril. Let's go to the nostril. So if you guys are looking for a bamboo flute, check out Eric, the flute maker, YouTube. Eric, it's spelled, it's right here. Let's see. Uh, I think he spells it like Eric with a K, just the K. Flute maker. You see a little bit of the filter right here too. It kind of curves up and over. And I'm gonna hit. Hi, sir. Hi. I'm gonna hit this edge a little bit harder. He's good, Brad. And then let's come over here. Can I hit this edge a little bit harder? And then. Oh yeah, and then the edge of the uh, the chin right here. This is going to be sharper because it's in the foreground. So we make this a little bit sharper edged. I am from India, and I follow you. Yay, India! Welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm starting to relax now. You can probably tell. I'm starting to feel better about this whole situation. <laughs> we started, we, you know, I think the tide is working. I don't want to jinx myself, but uh, like I was getting away from the shore and uh, I couldn't feel my feet on the sand beneath me, but I feel like I might be standing on a little, little piece of coral. I, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better. I can breathe a little bit more. My stomach stopped growling finally. And uh, now I'm in a fasting state. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, man, there's so much work still to do. Let's see, I'll probably have to do another stream. Maybe um, the next stream, I wanted to do, do the next stream on Friday. So today is Tuesday, right? So today's Tuesday, I'm, I'm gonna take Wednesday and Thursday off so I can finish the drawing course that's coming out. Uh, that's right, I got another drawing course and it's gonna be on proportions. It's gonna be on proportions and rhythms of the head. Um, so I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be on the, the Riley rhythm and uh, of course the basics, the basics, basics of the basics. So the Loomis. Yeah. This is uh, the flute. Let's see if I can hit a, a tone or something. I'm not going to play a song because I don't know any songs. How about that? <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. All right, that's that's the best I can do. Who else will play a mall stick, huh? I asked this grid method is good because I am kinder. I'm at level in drawing with grid, and I am like stuck between choosing Loomis or grid. Oh, choose the Loomis. Wait, which is the grid? Is that like uh, drawing out the squares? Is that what you mean by grid, or is there like another kind of like process? Which is really interesting because um, you can do. Uh, um, they also call it the head abstraction, uh, which is also another um, another name for the Riley method is the head abstraction. Hello, Brad. Hello. Kune, Kune, Bans, Wow. Hi, welcome. I'm just uh, working hard over here, trying to get this, trying to control the values. Um, she's still really light in the um, in the skin and the light on the light side. Uh, let me try the chamois again. I keep, I know this thing works so well. I need a little test area down here in the corner. I'm using the corner of the paper as a test area to make sure I got it. A good spot. Okay, now I think I can. 
the magic blue hat, one blue circle. Love from India, smiling face with hearts, smiling face with hearts. Hi, India. So I'm putting more value in certain areas like the chest and the neck. Um, and then I'll pull it out with the uh, either eraser or maybe the chamois again. I'm just trying to build up the um, the planes of the head a little bit. Test, test. Lots of testing. Putting heavy value, putting lots of eyeshadow on her, <laughs> essentially, and then uh, that gives me something to work with, so I can pull out with the eraser and build up the structure. It's like the nose as well. A lot of times the nose is. Um, actually has a lot of value in it compared to the rest of the area and that's because a lot of times the nose is a little bit more red in color and red typically has a darker value so if you're doing like a testes testes one two <laughs> testes testes one two uh, that's awesome that's not a charcoal it's a magic wand in your hand yeah <laughs> uh Hocus corpus meum, Dios pasit corvos. He drew all basically, but wanted to ask you a question. I'm Why do you like to use color pencils? So lag, OMG. I'm going to do it like a, uh, I'm trying to think of a Latin. Sani tu, sani tu, tintin abeli. <laughs> Does anybody know what I just said in Latin? <laughs> See, what's another one? Sorry was timing how long it takes for me to hear me chat read a voice. <laughs> it takes a while, huh? Was it like 15 seconds or something for it to read? Um, oh, that's why. I think why I'm having a problem. The, my computer just popped up and says um, I'm using too much memory. Because I've been doing a lot of video editing lately, so I probably like... I probably used up too much of the, uh, the computer's capacity, so that might be why I've been having problems. Um, that's that might be. Let's see. Let's start working on controlling some of these forms on the face a little bit before we end today's stream, and then uh, Friday we'll finish this one. That's really far in the distance, though. I don't like that. I'll do, I'll just, um, I'll make this stream a little bit longer today, guys, and then um, I probably won't finish it all the way, but I want to finish this today, um, probably tonight or something. I'll work on it while listening to a podcast, but I'll try to get it to a pretty good um, spot before we end the stream. So, especially in the face, right? So I want to try to get the face pretty close to where uh, it's going to be overall as far as like the, the shadows and stuff. Um, so you see these highlights. Is wearing off, you're getting relaxed, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah, I think Hi, you're... One, your artist, Brad Lamp, in a what? I think you're right. I think it's the coffee. I should probably ease up. I keep saying that, but I'm so used to... Uh, I drink a lot of coffee. You might say I'm a little bit of a, an addict. I can even kind of like... I don't know, let's try something different a little bit. I'm trying to see if I like that texture. So I can do like cross hatching with the actual pen eraser. That's kind of cool. I like that texture. I wasn't planning on doing that, but. Huh. Yeah, I like that. I like that cross-hatching that's kind of cool I don't know if you can see it on camera though very good and there's gonna be a little bit of she a she must be impressed when she saw this you know I'm gonna put more value in the bottom lip as well yeah my lag is really really behind today I think we will save the queen for the next one. Oh. I'm going to put a lot more value in the lips so I have something to work with. Um, definitely uh, the bottom lip needs more value. And then we can come back in here and hit those darkest darks again. 
Again, I keep, you know, I keep saying it, it's like a push and pull. It'll take me like 20 minutes for the queen to sound off, ha ha. <laughs> you should uh, send me a recording of it and I can like just play it like automatically. And then, uh, oh, look at that, a nice little highlight right on the rim. Let's see. I should ask you guys to like, you know that one, um, ah, this one right here, the one where I ask you guys to subscribe. This one. If you like the video, please click like and consider subscribing. Oh yes, and click that bell icon thing so you will never miss a notification when I upload a video or go live. Brad made me read this for free. Can you believe that? Anyways, please subscribe and draw along. Yeah. Sounds like something Like I should probably ask you guys, some of you guys, to read that for me. That that script. Like, click the bell, subscribe, and get notifications. Uh, where's my um? is my FBRT instrument seriously? Really? The flute? It's really calming. Well, not the way I play it, but <laughs> listening to um, Native American flute for sure, especially on a rainy day if it's raining and he's oh yeah, it's it's like perfect for some reason it just it hits just perfect. Uh, let me work on the nose a little bit too. So I got all this flat kind of like local value going on, and then now I can kind of come in and really hit that highlight on the nose, maybe up here. Uh, build up the little bit of a structure on the nostril. Think, thinking about the planes a little bit. Maybe uh, add a little bit more to this area right here. Pushing and pulling. Nothing like experimenting live. <laughs> I don't know why I like to do that. It's I did that with the uh, the um, liquid charcoal, and that was uh, oh my gosh, that was so stressful. But I love that painting. Uh, not painting, but that liquid charcoal drawing. Uh, a lot. It's like right up here on my wall. It's so rough and, and like very like loose kind of a style because somebody asked me or actually no they didn't ask me I saw an ad on Instagram and it was like how to make your drawings loose like how to draw more loose drawings and I was thinking about it and I didn't read the article but I was thinking because I, I didn't click on it I just like went through it but I was thinking about it and I think Picking the right medium for that it probably helps. Probably helps the most. So like like the liquid charcoal just forced me to like only th like to uh, Hello, sir. to draw loose because I didn't have any control like I normally have with the with the uh, like the seventeen ten B Conte pencil like so you pick something that is a lot harder to control so it kind of forces you into uh, drawing more loose I think. Like this one here too. There's certain things I just have to let go of, and and let happen. Like like the Bob Ross happy little accidents kind of thing. She needs like a little dark spot right there. Hello, Rashi Barman. What's up? Nice to see you. Thank you for coming by and watching the chaos that is the stream. <laughs> Let's see, um, let me let me go into the eye a little bit and kind of work on the eye shape and kind of value. See, we have the iris right here about just a hint, right? You can just see a little hint. And then the eyelash and a little cast shadow. I'm 
just kind of tap that out, try to control the value a little bit. Definitely want to make it look like it's a, a eyeball and not like not flat. Right now it's looking kind of flat, so I'm just going to try to build up that structure a little bit more. And you see this a little bit of a rhythm right here for the tear trough groove and it goes up into the inside eye socket. Maybe just a touch of a hard edge right there. And we can try to get this transition to be a little bit smoother over here as well on the forehead, the frontal bone, and then we have the side plane. And you can see that a little bit of that plane shift right here. We can kind of push that and make it connect to the shadow of the hair. So basically I'm trying to like, instead of having a lot of line work on this one, I want it a lot more on the shadow shapes, and form shadows, and connecting different shapes together. Let's see, it's come a little bit of a harder edge on the underside plane of the cheekbone, the zygomatic right there. That went a little too heavy on that, but we'll come back later and work on that transition. A little bit of a Using the eraser to pick out helps a lot. That's really fun. You can also do like a, a painting, like using a burnt umber. They call it a burnt umber pick out. It's pretty much the same thing, uh, whether it's charcoal or a burnt umber paint. Um, it works exactly the same. You put down. The gray scale artist, you shall not do her <laughs> Nice. And uh, let's come over here. And we have the column of the mouth right here. Then we have the chin. That's Maybe I need to put a little bit more value in the chin area so I can support that highlight. So let me do another test spot on the page down at the bottom. Like so, uh, over here in the corner, I'm Wait, doing. I'm trying to get to where it's like giving me enough, but not too much of a value. And then I'll come over here gently, ah, uh, terrifyingly. Put in some value in the chin, and it's going to look really dirty until I control it. So now it's really dirty looking, and that's okay, because we needed all that value. So now I'm going to come in here with my kneaded eraser and kind of control things. So I need that value so I can support that highlight on the chin. So tap, 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 tapping, tapping. Oh yeah, another thing too, I didn't talk about it yet, but what I'm doing a lot, I don't know if you can see me on video on the little screen, but you'll probably see my eyes kind of squinting and it's not because I can't see. Well, I can't see, but <laughs> it's not, the purpose is um, to see less. So when I'm squinting down, I'm looking to see the, the values and how they relate to each other and also looking for uh, uh, different relationships. So like the darkest dark and the lightest light which I haven't actually established yet. I should probably do that. Um, that looks pretty dark in the uh, eye, so that might be my darkest dark. The lightest light, I guess it would be pretty much on the forehead then. So I'm kind of using those two values as the value scale. Because earlier I was talking about how earlier in the stream I was going really dark over here and it went dark too fast, so I had to pull that value out. And what I was trying to do is keep from being stuck like all of a sudden I'm I, I go too dark and then I have nothing to work with because like if we have like the scale right we have a light side over here and a dark side over here and if I all of a sudden go all the way to the dark side then I can't go beyond it like I'm stuck and then then the drawing just starts to fall apart and just it looks like one big dark kind of a messy drawing and it can't it doesn't balance itself out so I have to pull that that take it from the darkest dark and bring it back down to somewhere over here so I have some play. I have some some 
control like with balancing out the other values. I don't know if that makes sense. It's sort of like you don't want to hit the, the highest note of any sort just yet, uh, especially with the, the dark value. The light, you can do that because you can always come in and, and soften it up or add a little bit more value. But with the darks, you got to be really careful not to go too dark too fast. Um, you want to leave yourself some room. So pull out that little highlight on the chin. And then let's go with my, hmm, I'm trying to decide what pencil to hit, go with and reestablish some of these, these edges, the shape of her face, because I'm losing a lot from putting all these the values in. So every once in a while, you got to come back and reestablish the lines, or reestablish the uh, shadow shapes. So I can come over here. Especially this area is so important. This is like this is why I, I picked this reference it was solely because of the bottom third of her face, because it's almost like. It's almost like you ever do those um, those uh, those um, sphere drawings, or if you go to art school, they usually try to make you do uh, circles and cubes and spheres. And this is pretty much that example right here in the chin. So if you wanted to use this, you can actually use this for like a basic um, uh, shading uh, practice. Uh, like this is pretty much the the ball. This the chin is the ball, and you have the the form shadow, and then you have the cast shadow right here from the, the ball. So you have the highlight, form shadow, uh, cast shadow, and then you have the shadow side, and you have all the midtones. So this spot right here is actually a good example of why they have you um, draw out spheres and balls and, and paint those tedious things because uh, it actually actually shows up in nature everywhere, especially on the portrait. Shows up on the nose, shows up on the chin. Um, yeah. So it's a really good good thing to practice. I'm going to bring the highlight down just a little bit further. And maybe I'll try a blending stub. Let me test it out on our test spot over here. Pretty much I'm trying to get the, the charcoal that's on it off and so I can gently kind of blend. It's kind of terrifying because you don't know if it's going to like take off on you or not until you do it. So that's why you use that little space, a little test spot in the corner of the paper. Let's see what time is it? It's about 1040. We're doing good. We're doing good. Let's see. Let's blend this. Let's try to connect this shadow into the background a little bit better. I think I think I want to do that. Because that'll help connect the portrait into the background and create like a like an atmosphere. Like a, like it's not just like line, line, line everywhere. It's like uh, it's actually part of the um, the background. Let's see, let me get this shadow a little bit. Scratchy. It's weird because one end is like hard, the other end is soft on this fine charcoal. It's really strange. So yeah, we're gonna try to connect these values together. <laughs> 